So we're up to uh, week seven, day four. It's Wednesday, and uh, as you can see, Shelly has been busy out here starting to paint the container so it's not this obnoxious yellow. Um, gray is gonna blend in a little bit with the trees and the other stuff around here, but uh, that's what that's looking like. And uh, I'm getting ready to start stretching some fence along this. Um, we've got about, I would say not quite half, maybe a third of it done, or a third of the fence post in. And so uh, we still have a ways to go. But I'm here alone today. Shelly's off watching one of the grandkids today. So I'm going to start trying to put up some fence. We'll see how that goes. <music> mention one thing about deer fencing around your garden and uh, when I first mentioned that we were going to be building a fence around here um, I got a comment from a guy who uh, said that he has been dealing with the problem for 20 years and never had a deer get into his uh, garden ever once and his solution was to go ahead and plant a, a deer forage area uh, with I guess grains and things like that in it a ways away from the garden that they would be more attracted to and uh you know that's a good idea I, I mean, if we had the space to do that i'd maybe even consider doing that but there's a lot of deer down here and we're mostly woodland which would mean clearing out another big space for that and then uh going to the trouble of planting it which we're really not geared or equipped to be planting uh forage areas for uh, other animals so i'm sticking with the fence and uh that I hope will keep um, all of the forage animals out uh, as much as possible anyway. So this is a five foot high fence. I know deer can jump higher than that. Um, we'll see how that goes. If it begins to be a problem, we'll just extend these posts up a little bit and put some razor wire or something around the top of it. <laughs> yeah, probably not razor wire, but anyway, that's where we're at right now. This is going up pretty good. I'm putting staples in to hold it and um, you know, we'll just keep working on it.
this entry, this entry into the garden area is big enough to where we can drive the tractor through without having to fold the roll bar down on it. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like and a share, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell. See you next time.